What's up guys, it's Garrett. Today I'm going to show you how to install SAS with Python. Uh, Team Tree also uses Ruby gems to install it and I kept getting an error so I had to go back to Python to install it. Uh, but no problem, that's the first language I learned so it's pretty fun. So if you don't know SAS, it's basically a preprocessor for CSS. It lets you add things like variables, nesting, uh, partials, imports, functions, all sorts of cool stuff that makes your CSS more maintainable. And as you get more and more complex style sheets, this is going to help you keep that code a lot more maintainable. Um, for instance, with the variables, uh, you can basically define a primary color variable, and anywhere in your style sheet that you use a color, um, if you update the variable, it'll automatically update the color here for you. So if you have like four or five different parts using the same color, all you'd have to do is update the variable and it'll automatically update those for you. So as far as getting it installed, uh, we're using lib sass python. Um, what you're gonna do in your little search bar here, we're gonna type in cmd and that will open up the command prompt. We're just gonna click on that and that'll pull up the command prompt for us. And we are going to type in, hold on here. was already in the directory I wanted it. Don't want to show you guys that part yet. So we're going to type in pip install lib sass. And this is going to go out and collect the lib sass files and install them for us if it wants to work for me. There we go, collecting lib sass. Um, and that's pretty much all we have to do to install sass on our computer, as long as we've got Python installed already. Um, to check, you can type in sass-v and it will pull up the current version you have installed. You've got 3.4.22. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to do to install sass. As far as using it, um, I went ahead and made a little test directory on my desktop here, sass test, and added a CSS file and an SCSS file with a little styles.scss. Don't know why that font didn't get bigger when I made this font bigger. That's weird. Anyway, um, so back in our command prompt to use SAS, we're going to navigate to our desktop and then we're going to go to SAS test. And then to get SAS to basically automatically update our CSS sheet, we're going to type in SASS dash dash watch SCSS colon CSS. And this is just telling SAS to watch our SCSS file and output that as CSS. So we're going to hit enter. And now SAS is watching for changes. If you want to make it stop, just press control C and it will stop for you. And it also went ahead and generated a styles.css sheet and a styles.css map, as well as the SAS cache. You don't have to worry about that folder too much. It basically just speeds up the processing. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to our styles.scss and the first thing we're going to do is make a color variable. So we can do main color blue and then we can make our A elements color main color and then we can make our H1, our title elements color main color as well. And then we'll do ahead and do our paragraph tags color as main color too. So we'll save that. And now anywhere that we use the variable main color, SCSS or SAS is going to output that as the color blue in our CSS. So boom, our A, H1, and paragraph color is all blue. Now to change that, all we'd have to do is update the variable color to red, save it, and then the CSS is updated to red as well. Now obviously this is a really simplified example. Um, you're gonna have a lot more code and it's gonna be a lot more effective when you change the variable name. Um, but that's the basic gist of it. So that is pretty much all you need to know to install SAS and start using it. Um, probably going to do a couple more videos here on the more like basic features of SAS, like writing variables, functions, stuff like that. If you have any kind of questions or concerns or feedback, 
feel free to leave that down in the comments. Uh, check the description for my website and my socials if you want to connect or anything like that. I am looking for a web developer job, so if you have a hookup, let me know. And besides that, it's been fun. I will see you guys next time.